this evening. Okay, let's move on from there to the other big story because the BJP really hasn't got time to fully savor its victory in Uttar Pradesh yet and indeed across four states. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, it seems, is already on to his next election mission. Today, the Prime Minister took out a road show in Gandhinagar in his Janmabhumi of Gujarat and it seemed to turn out to be a victory march of sorts. The BJP's principal rival in Gujarat, the Congress, is still recovering from the shock defeats it suffered in these assembly polls and there are already recriminations taking place within the Congress party. What does all this mean for new equations in 2024? It's our other top story. The Modi juggernaut reaches Gujarat. A day after the stunning four-state sweep that included a spectacular victory in Uttar Pradesh, the man of the series hit the ground running. Prime Minister Narendra Modi took out a 10-kilometer roadshow in Gandhinagar. Gujarat is where the next elections will be held later this year. But Prime Minister Modi is aiming even further down the road, as he indicated in his victory speech. जब लोकसभा में हम दोबारा जीत करके आए तो जो ज्ञानियों ने कहा था कि भाई 2019 के जीत में क्या है ये तो 2017 में ही तय हो गई थी इस बार भी ये ज्ञानी जरूर कहने की हिम्मत करेंगे कि 2022 के नतीजों ने 2024 के नतीजे तय कर दिए हैं what separates Modi from his rivals is his focus on winning. Elections don't tire him. The Modi election machine never rests. On the other hand, the opposition is listless and badly divided. The Gandhi surname is not a magnet anymore for voters. Just imagine this. Priyanka Gandhi Vadra held over 200 rallies and roadshows in Uttar Pradesh. Even more than Yogi Adityanath. All she has to show in return is 2.4% of vote share. हमें उत्तराखंड, गोवा और पंजाब में बेहतर परिणामों की अपेक्षा थी, लेकिन हम ये स्वीकार करते हैं कि हम जनता का आशीर्वाद पाने में असफल रहे। And we bow our head before the verdict that people of these five election-going states have given. A Congress on decline is ceding space to not just the BJP, but also other opposition parties, as it found to its utter shock in Punjab. The Ahmadmi Party now looks set for a national innings. When you see that the country is looting the country, you will be very angry with them. 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 पहले दिल्ली में इंकलाब हुआ, अब पंजाब में इंकलाब हुआ, अब ये इंकलाब पूरे देश के अंदर फैलेगा। अखिलेश यादव, whose vote share rose by more than 10 percent, found hope in his defeat. He tweeted that the elections have reduced BJP's vote share and the tally considerably, and that the Saffron Brigade are not invincible. But it's easier said than done. In an increasingly presidential general elections. Who will be Modi's challenger number one? The Gandhis, Mamta Banerjee, Akhilesh Yadav, Arvind Kejriwal. There are too many contenders, but no real answers. Bureau Report, India Today. So let's raise the big questions tonight. Is this Modi juggernaut simply unstoppable now? Who will be Modi's challenger number one come 2024? Should, as some congressmen are saying in private, give up the Gandhis, give up the Congress and give a new leadership a chance? What of the Aam Party? What is their game plan? Is it to take the Congress's space or challenge Mr. Modi? And what happens to the notion of opposition unity that's often spoken of? Some of the questions that we will raise a day after the poll results, time to step back to a post-mortem. Sayyid Zafar Islam, the BJP's MP joining us, Supriya Srinath, Congress spokesperson, Shantanu Sen, TMC MP, and Jasmine Shah, Ahmadmi Party, Vice Chairman, Dialogue and Development Commission. Appreciate 
all of you joining us on the show tonight. I want to turn to you, Supriya Srinath, at the moment because we are just getting in news that the G23, the so-called group of rebels within the Congress, is meeting, is planning a meeting shortly, and they want to perhaps call an emergency meeting to discuss the state of the Congress and the state of the Congress leadership in particular. So even barely has the uh, have the results been... Will some band-aid be required? I think let the surgeons within the Congress decide that. I can only assure voters and through you, uh, your viewers, that the Congress party has taken cognizance of the fact that the day was indeed very disappointing and we are not going to look the other way. And people who are responsible for this in terms of uh, whether it was the infighting or anything like that is going to be taken into account and certainly action is going to be taken. Action also pertaining to do we need to refocus? Do we need to re-strategize? Are we speaking a language that is not connecting with the voters? Many issues like that. But I also think Rajdeep, and I'll take just 10 seconds to say this, I also think a day after the the results give us the, gives us the chance to analyze the fine print, the data. Mm -hmm. And in Uttar Pradesh, because I come from there and out of curiosity, when I went through the fine print, I think a lot of parties will have to answer for what they were really doing and how they were aiding a BJP victory. What did BSP end up doing? You know, the 120 seats that it aided the BJP on, Mr. Mm -hmm. Ovaisi with 23 lakh votes, 23,000 in each of his 100 constituencies. What was he doing? Or for that matter, with all due respect to the Ahmadmi party, because of course, they are the victors riding the juggernaut themselves, mm -hmm. uh, or the TMC, because if you look at the Ahmadmi party and the TMC's vote share in Goa, and you look at the difference between the BJP and the Congress, it explains why did they not come together. And remember, we had gone to them first. Uh, it also tells you in, in Uttarakhand, one second, Rajdeep, in Uttarakhand, mm -hmm. what was the BSP trying to do? And were they a part of a conspiracy to hurt the Congress? Because overtly they wanted to dislodge the BJP. Mm -hmm. But if you actually see the kind of vote share that they took away, it is the exact difference between the BJP and the Congress. So I think all of us need to put our hats together to understand is the goal to dislodge I, the BJP or is it to hurt the Congress for your own potential gains? I've got three other guests put, uh, waiting, but I still will persist one. You seem to A, blame every... You seem to... First of all, many believe the surgeons that you describe are part of the problem. They are no solution. Those who are supposed to provide the surgery are themselves part of the problem. You've gone and blamed everybody. Trinamool Congress, Aam Aadmi Party, uh, OAC, BSP. The fact is, no. many people... No, no, many people are... You are at 2% in UP, right? In Goa, you are at a historic low of 23%. In Uttarakhand, you have for the first time, anti-incumbency is part of Uttarakhand's politics. Every five years, governments have changed. You failed to beat that. In Punjab, you've scored self-goal after self-goal. Even now, Sidhu has again attacked Mr. Channi today. I mean, what, what possessed you to appoint someone like Sidhu as a Congress president but who's that's... known to be an unguided missile? Anyone with even a passing interest in politics knows that the Congress has committed blunder after blunder. You don't need any CWC. You just that's... need to start getting real, a reality check. No, that's precisely... No, that's precisely the answer that I gave. I, I hope you heard me right. I said that people who are responsible for this will be taken into task and the leadership will itself ponder, pause and reflect on what's going wrong. And why are we not winning elections? Because the reality is we are raising the issues of the people. We are going to the electorate with the issues that matter the most to them. Because you have is poor, you have poor strategy and a non-credible leadership that you have poor strategy and a non-credible leadership that comes with a lot of baggage. That's the reality. Rajdeep, not, New India is no, rejecting Rajdeep, dynastical politics. To, no, New Rajdeep, India I has am, no time for entitled dynasties. Start Rajdeep, getting real about that. Yeah, Rajdeep, Rajdeep. Rajdeep, I am not going to let you complete my sentences or speak for a Congress spokesperson. I think I'm here to do that job and please allow me to do that job. You're not going to tell me what ails us. We understand what ails us. We understand we need uh, some serious thinking, some serious actions, and we are going to come up with it. You know, a okay. party like the Congress, which has been in existence for 150 years, does not do knee-jerk reactions. Okay. We, do, we, are not, we are not dictatorial like the BJP. There is a cadre that we take it. There is senior leadership that has to be involved mm -hmm. keeping the aspirations of the young in mind and that's how the congress works the congress cannot be a bjp for the very reasons that we that we dislike the bjp for okay. it's run by the whims and fancies of one man just like this nation is being run by him okay. so we are not going to do what the bjp does 
trust me there will be action that is going to be taken and and some serious action in, you know is required and shall be taken okay. but we will take it on our own terms we will take it with our own decisions and not by something that i hear in okay. television studios okay let's then turn to what i as i said set the stage mr modi's juggernaut because while the congress seems to be once again fight, fighting the internal battles mr modi was once again on the streets of Gujarat already it seems planning for what happens in 2024 or certainly 2022 when Gujarat goes to the polls. Sayyid Zafar Islam want to understand yesterday the Prime Minister seemed to suggest as if 2024 was a done deal. Today Prashant Kishore the election strategist has put out a tweet suggesting this is only trying to play psychological tricks with the opposition. State elections are very different to a general election. You are running ahead of yourself. Has the victory in UP made you, as always, a party which believes that you are just on a roll? Well, Rajdeep, first of all, you have to understand <clears throat> we are a party with difference. It is not the first time you have heard this. You have heard it many times from every single leader of Bharatiya Janata Party. And we have demonstrated it time and again. Mm -hmm. When we, it, when uh, my friend uh, Supriya was talking about Carter, Actually, that is something which is missing in Congress. We are a cadre-based party. They used to be a cadre-based party, and no party can function or survive if they do not have both intellectuals and cadre. Where the Bharatiya Janata Party is represented by both intellectuals and cadre, and they are being led by a supreme leader because they are somebody who should have a, the idea and the strategy to take the uh, party forward. Uh, forward. Is it that a is supreme leader? Done. Is it a supreme leader or as is being suggested by Supriya Srinet, the great dictator, who already seems to have well, decided that 2024 well, is a done deal? Well, uh, well, Rajdeep, I do not want to comment uh, what, what else she did you expect him to say what she, while what she has said. No, uh, ma'am, he did uh, not uh, intervene uh, with you, uh, ma'am. I didn't interrupt. And uh, a loser can speak any language. I mean, I do not have to respond to a loser because they, everyone knows. I mean, today they are blaming Baspa, they are blaming South University, they are blaming the Terminable Congress, they are blaming everyone but themselves. Mm -hmm. That is that is something which is, then you have to understand who is on the wrong path and who is the, on the right path. They are, you are talking about somebody t uh, doing the surgery. Who will do the surgery? There is no surgeon. And even if there is a surgeon, he is not uh, functional, he is not doing anything. And more importantly, you cannot replace the leadership of Congress because they draw all the people they draw strength from that leadership and they cannot survive without uh, 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 drawing comfort from the uh, uh, 10 Janpath. And if they, should they decide to re remove 10 Janpath or the uh, Gandhi mm -hmm. family from the leadership position, everybody in G23 will disintegrate from the day the, uh, the Gandhi family uh, has been removed from the leadership position. Because none of them none of them if the, she is talking about aspiration there's no everybody has aspiration to become something or the other without doing any effort bharatiya janata party everybody has to earn mm -hmm. earn uh, and 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 it is not a fancy office we have ever been talk, uh, spoken about it is the responsibility somebody can be given responsibility and if there somebody is not performing he can be removed because it's just merely responsibility it's not a fancy position of chief okay. minister or uh, ex minister or vice minister that is the differentiating factor between Bharati Janata Party and the rest of the other parties because they feel it is an essence of entitlement that they must get it. it okay, is not I, I, I take your the party. You, you believe you're a party. You, 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 you said that you and have to earn. You, no, you say you have to earn. Ten seconds. Yeah, ten seconds. Okay. And, and that is something which is being uh, demonstrated by the senior most leadership of our party. He leads from the front. See, yesterday, after a massive victory, I think some other prime minister or some other leader would have been in Delhi and enjoyed uh, 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 attention from every look and corner of the country. But he is on a mission. And he's on a mission because he feels that party needs no, no. him. And no, he he's has, on a mission. He was on the, no, 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 one minute, one minute, one minute. Now, you know, he was on the camera. He addressed the rally, 8 o'clock. Everyone was watching him. Today, he's in Gujarat on a road show. He's a relentless machine. Let's be clear. I accept your point that the yes, BJP sir. seems to be a relentless force at the moment, and moving from one. Just a minute, sir. Last 10 seconds. Last yes. 10 seconds. Sir. Yes. And more importantly, more importantly, and I think this is what I want to emphasize, that there is no disconnect between him and rest of the 
कार्यकर्ताज ही इज वेरी मच कनेक्टेड विथ एवरी सिंगल कार्यकर्ता एंड दैट्स वाई ही ऑलवेज टेक्स एडिशनल स्टेप टू मीट मीट एन ऑर्डर इन कार्यकर्ता वेर एवर ही गोज आई मीन दिस काइंड ऑफ पर्सनैलिटी इफ यू डू नॉट एडमायर Who Can is I you please admire? Come in for no, 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 just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. There are two Mr. other Gandhi? guests. Just a minute now, now Zafar Islam, your time is up. You made your point. You made it re-emphasize. Let's go and give everyone a chance because there are other parties in the country beyond the Congress Can BJP. No, ma'am. One minute. At the moment, the Aam Aadmi Party also deserves its share of time. It's they've also had a big day yesterday. You heard Supriya Shinde suggesting, look. The Aam Aadmi Party perhaps was responsible, at least in a couple of seats, for defeating us in Goa. I want to understand from you. Today we heard Arvind Kejriwal saying, "Inkilab Zindabad, not just for Punjab, but suddenly he says it will go across the country." You won one state now, apart from Delhi. Great achievement, but is that enough for you to suddenly believe you become a national brand? Rajdeep, we are not here to build a brand. We are here to fulfill the aspirations of the people of this country, which we genuinely believe have been unfulfilled for the last seventy-five years. Mm -hmm. Tell me, why did it take an Aam Aadmi Party mm -hmm. in 2015, after it won in 2015 in Delhi, to fix the government schooling system? Until then, nobody in our country believed that government schools could be fixed. Nobody believed that Mohalla clinics uh, could be, you know, talked about and celebrated globally, mm -hmm. uh, which are existing and running in Delhi. So there has been a huge governance deficit across the entire nation. Mm -hmm. We are a small party. We are not saying that we will grow suddenly overnight in all parts of the country. But the factors that made us win and succeed in Delhi uh, seven years back and in Punjab yesterday are the factors that exist all across the India. All across India, people today have accepted that Kejriwal model of governance stands for change. It stands for the aspiration of youth. Youth want medical colleges. They want schools. They want good health care. Who is providing that? Mr. Kejriwal is telling me one state, one state where Congress can say that this is our model state. Come and see any of our government school. Uh, or hospital but each, one state no, no, one minute, one minute. each that state no, no, schools and hospitals no no it, it's a you know uh, let's be also honest jasmine each state is different from the other the challenges the complexities of indian states are very different are you telling me that you will now take this delhi model that you claim focuses on health and education to particular states or you believe it's a pan indian model is it going to go to first to states where you believe the congress is vulnerable at the end of the day Let's not kid ourselves. The Aam Aadmi Party wants to expand, as every party does. You tried in UP; it's not worked. You tried in Uttarakhand; it's not worked. You achieved some success in Goa and spectacular success in Punjab. So, what's next? Do you go to a Himachal Pradesh, bordering Punjab, as the buzz is, or do you go into Gujarat to directly challenge Mr. Modi on his home turf? Rajdeep, uh, we are already in Gujarat. Uh, you are aware that last year uh, we came in the opposition in Surat uh, mm -hmm. and and displaced Congress there. Uh, you know, again, let me just say that as Aam Aadmi Party, our goal is to fix the the governance problems of this country. I am not saying health and education is the only agenda everywhere. It is the agenda everywhere. But when we go to Punjab, people believe us. People believe Arvind Kejriwal when he says that I'll get rid of the corruption of the state. Why sand? Why is uh, you know uh, Charanjit Singh Chenni caught uh, uh, you know red-handed uh, in this constituency having sand mining? There is drug mafia, which they've been talking endlessly for decades. People are tired of all the old political establishment. So, so whichever state we go to, people believe in the honesty of our Vinay Kejriwal. Okay. And therefore, we will respond to the specific problems of the state, but we will also fix health and education, which is the foundation for the future of our country. And no political party is today talking about it. Okay. Not in one election campaign did BJP or Congress talk about it. Ma'am, relax, Supriya. Let me bring in Shantanu Sen. because the trinamool congress also interestingly 6 months ago was being seen also to expand its presence beyond bengal but as we saw in goa you got a duck because goa is very different you know it, it may uh, we goans like fish and football like you do in bengal but our fish is pomfret yours is macher jhol and uh, we believe we play football on the beach you play it on the maidan different states different folks uh, shantanu sen has this been a reality check for the trinamool also in its national ambitions that first focus on building yourself maybe as a eastern front of india before you go into the west coast see rajdeep the issue is our publicity master learned prime minister and his entire team mm -hmm. they are busy in creating frenzy around the results of these few states mm -hmm. 
but the ground reality is it is the actual victory of EVM manipulation, it is the actual victory of not using VVPAT and many other issues, absolute vacuum of opposition. No, no, come on, no, no, I, I'm going to stop you, Shantanu Sen, not are you, no, no, one minute, one minute, no, no, Mr. Shantanu Sen, are you telling me that you're going to blame EVMs and VVPATs for a defeat of the kind that the, uh, for example, the Samajwadi party has suffered or the victory of the BJP in Uttar Pradesh? Nobody said that EVMs have been uh, tampered with in Bengal when you won a big victory. Now you'll turn out, come on, for God's sake, all these comments must stop without evidence. Surely not. You have no evidence. There is zero evidence. No, Rajdeep, there is Rajdeep, zero Rajdeep, evidence Rajdeep, of kindly, rigging. Kindly, kindly. Ra De then why that ADM was suspended? That answer my question. Are why it? that particular ADM was suspended? That was in one, was one case in Varanasi. In ADM? one case in Varanasi. No, and that too, to these the were training EVMs. Work. Please do not make these comments. It misleads audiences and viewers. It cannot and, be and, that when the Trinamool or the me, opposition wins, everything is let, fine. And, no, I'm sorry. I will say this. The BJP has won Uttar Pradesh fair and, and, and square. Get used to it. Rajiv, can I just come in? No, no, no you no, can't no, definitely come Definitely, I, I am ready to give let, the... Let I, am, I, am read, I, I, am, I am absolutely respectful towards the mandate given by the uh, electorate at large. Let me come to the Goa issue. In Goa, we are on the ground for last three months only. And you, you try to cite one example of one particular party who could secure more than 5% votes in just three months of time. In just three months of time, our entire alliance got 13% votes in Goa. It's no joke. Yeah, but in you, Tripura, we already become the main of. But as a result, as a result, there were a couple. Votes as in a result, there may well end, months. No, no. But as a end, as a result, in a couple of seats, you may have ended up splitting the Congress's vote. I want to know today who is the Trinamool Congress's enemy number one? Is it no, the no, Congress? No, no, no. no, no I, one minute. Is it the Congress the country, or the BJP? The, Just a minute, the, sir. Mamta Banerjee today has gone on record as saying that we are the real Congress. People should join us. Absolutely. I am also of the same opinion. The, the situation of the Congress party is absolutely miserable. Mm -hmm. They are losing everywhere. And where Congress is absolutely un incapable of fighting BJP, their TMC is stepping in. Mm -hmm. As it was in Goa. Five years back, there was a clear-cut mandate in favor of Congress. But those Congress MLS got sold out absolutely. Mm -hmm. There was a big vacuum. Mm -hmm. And in just three months of time, we could secure 13% votes as a, as a whole. And Trinobyl Congress individually, we could secure 5% votes. Okay. And we lost many, many number of, a good number of seats by a margin less than 1,000 votes. Okay, let me, you let, just let, me, let, me estimate. let me, let me just stop you. Okay. Of time. okay, you're saying in three months you've gone, you you believe you are the real Congress. Supriya Srinath is interesting. Mamta Banerjee effectively suggesting she is the real, she and others represent the real Congress. They are mass leaders. They have proven to tear, where, defeat the BJP in elections as she did in Bengal. The Congress hurtles from defeat after defeat. You've lost 40 elections, 4-0 since 2014, 90% of the elections you've contested. In any other place, a country in the world, the leadership would be removed for losing 40 out of 45 elections. Supriya Rajdeep, Shine. Since 2014, we ended up forming governments in many states, including the ones in, including the ones in Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, uh, Punjab and of course the government that we did form in Madhya Pradesh and that was toppled over by the BJP and you've the BJP 40. has chosen to steal mandate. Let me please finish. The BJP, let me please finish my point. Just like you offered the curtsy to everybody else, please mm. offer me the curtsy. The BJP has ended up stealing the mandate. To my friends here from the TMC, I have one question to ask of you. Will you decide today or would you have decided yesterday who do you want to dislodge? Do you want to dislodge and take on the BJP in this country? Or do you want to actually hurt the Congress? Because every time for your own, and I have no qualms with you having political, uh, you know, uh, p p political um, the ambition. Uh, you're entitled to have that. But you've got in to decide Goa, who's your enemy. You ended up having 5.2% vote together. share. The AAP have, but sir, please wait. The AAP have 6.7% vote share. You ended up dislodging the Congress. Sir, I did not speak while you were talking. No, sir, please switch out the mic. No, you can't intervene. I did not speak while you were talking. No, you can't. On this show, this is not those channels where I talk. No crosstalk. Go ahead. Please finish, Supriya Shinit. Please finish your point quickly. We have limited time. 
So my simple, my simple point is with 5.2% vote share in Goa where you, where you got a duck, I mean, who were you hurting there? What was your ambition there? Your political ambition, I understand. But if your aim really is to dislodge the BJP, you've got to stop saying you are the real Congress because you're not. You're present in one state. You can have political ambitions, but there are also political realities. And that political reality will require you to work with us if you really want to mm -hmm. and not hurt us in places where you've gone to. Just like the Amadmi party, you went to Goa and you went to Uttarakhand. You did not defeat the BJP. You ended up cutting Congress's vote share and actually making the BJP no, win. No, but why, so why, why does I the Congress no, 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 the one minute. conspiracy of the BJP? No, no, Supriya Shine, why, one minute. Why does the Congress believe it has the divine right to be the main? Op I mean, Ahmad Party, Trinamul Congress, even Asaduddin OVC, everyone has the right to expand. The problem is wherever they have, people have a choice, they are rejecting you. They are choosing the others. In Punjab today, can you imagine the Aam Aadmi Party? In a, no, no, one minute. People have preferred, they believe Aam Aadmi Party doesn't come with the baggage that the Congress comes. You come with the baggage of years of uh, accusations of corruption, of, of, of being a party which has uh, not delivered at times, and a party which today is being accused of being family Raj. They are entitled to uh, 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 expand into, the, uh, into your space. You can't have the divine right to be the anti-BJP opposition. Once. I am not for once. I am not for once assuming the divine right to be an anti-BJP opposition. Mm -hmm. But yes, I do assume the divine right to question people who in broad daylight say they want to take on the BJP and then do everything to make the BJP win. I have a right to question that. And to your specific question on Punjab, these are questions that plague my mind. Mm -hmm. Why is it that the party with this nationalistic fervor and everything could not win Punjab? Why is it that mm -hmm. the Punjabis rejected the BJP mm -hmm. lock, stock and barrel? And to my Amadmi party friends, I only want to say you have zero track record while dealing with law and order because in Delhi you do not have the police under you. Okay. I wish you all the very best in a border state like Punjab. It's tricky. I do hope you keep the Punjabis safe and India safer at the borders. Okay, I, I want to ask uh, Jasmine. To the warlords, I'm, 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 I'm just a minute. Ma Mr. Ma 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 now you, not us, no, 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 no. Your time is up. I will give you time, Sayyid Zafar Islam. Relax. Relax, Sayyid Zafar Islam. I ask hard questions to everyone. I do not belong to that section of the media that asks hard questions only to one side. The sooner many of you, both Congress, BJP, understand that, better for my health. But Jasmine Shah, I will ask you also, and the AMRP party also. Let's be very clear. Is Arvind Kejriwal, what is his mission? Is it to defeat and challenge Mr. Modi and the BJP? Or is it to go into Congress areas and believe that first let's challenge the Congress and become the primary opposition? Straight answer. No goal mole answer, please. What is the Aam Aadmi Party's target number one? Our target number one are the complete defunct government schooling systems, education system, joblessness. These are the issues, and Rajdi, if I'm not trying to say this uh, in a rhetorical sense, <laughs> these are genuinely the issues that motivate our to, to build its cadres across the country. Our volunteers are not paid. They come out, they hit the streets, they, they, they sweat it out because they know that they are genuinely building a new country. We have no interest in cutting anybody's votes here and there. If if Congress or, or people of the country see hope in Congress or any other opposition party, good for them. We want for decades the issues that have been neglected to be resolved. Yes. If people see hope today in Aam Aadmi Party more than any other opposition leader, then you know this is a question that other parties need to uh, ask. We are not here to uh, try and take okay. somebody else's space. Okay, but got it. today the people have realized that they have an option. This entire thing of why BJP wins in other states is because, you know, what is the counterfactual? What is the other option on the table which will actually deliver change? Okay. None of the opposition you, you claim, today are you, able to uh, uh, build that trust. You claim you rep represent change and hope. And therefore, I want to ask you, Sayyid Zafar Islam, and I want an honest answer today from you. Try and be honest on this one. Who do you fear most? Always. Do you fear a rising up, an expanding up? Or do you fear the brand appeal that, in a way, Supriya Srinet believes the Congress still has? Rajdeep, Who do you like fear more? That. Well, Rajdeep, I'll be as candid as possible. And let me tell you very honestly and candidly that uh, we fear none. Because this political landscape, it provides headroom to every political party. And it is for them to connect with the people. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. there are some political parties who is led by a person who has zero connect with the people. 
and you cannot internally how you are perceived the best in mm-hmm. the world but externally if you are, if you do not have connect with the people you will yield zero result for the party and that is something which has been time and again proven by a leader a, a congress leadership that they do not have connect with the people and if unless you have a strong connectivity I'm, with the people you will not be able am to I, generate no 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 support, it, it support, appears to me that you prefer it appears to me and this is only my political analysis that you prefer to have the congress as your primary enemy 191 no, seats in me, lok sabha direct contest no, 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 in in 2019 only 15 were won by the congress honest answer it's easy rahul what? gandhi is your punching bag you find it much more difficult no, no, no. to take on a arvin kejriwal than a rahul gandhi rahul gandhi is your punching Not bag kamdar versus namdar is the narrative you run to target him all the time no in fact on the contrary the honorable because prime rahul minister gandhi has asked them a question that nobody locations. else in the opposition se- does on he several holds them accountable like she, nobody she, in the opposition does Uh, and and uh, she she has a habit of interrupting well finish uh, off finish one 30 not second you have 30 it seconds discipline and so all i'm saying that uh, on Don't the contrary uh, rajdeep we uh, the honorable prime minister has stated not once sem- on several occasion they we want a, a, a strong opposition also we have no problem if you put us in the dock because we are in the government because We have a genuine reason uh, uh, to. You want a strong. You want a strong uh, opposition that you set the ED and the IT and other agencies upon. Is what the opposition says. When the opposition See, becomes is, cha- is becomes strong, this the ED is set upon this them. Is, this is what they argue. Uh, this, It's a no, joke. this is unfair. If they have committed a crime, a the agency will do its job. The agency is only discharging their responsibilities. If you want agencies to stop functioning because. They, they somebody has committed crime and they do not want to be questioned it is unfair okay these agencies are independent agencies they are uh, pursuing a case on but the only the opposition the, commits the, crime uh, all those uh, people who have cases the against the them join the bjp on the basis of information and the needs they have Wo okay let me let me can you please no no you are time up time up time up we were we were have lost the election Okay, no, sir. Sir, lost election. Sir, lost election, sir, lost election okay, doesn't mean that she doesn't have a voice. She is entitled to her voice. That doesn't take away my right to question you. Okay, okay. That doesn't take away my right to question you. I hold you accountable every single day. Every waking up hour. Let, let the people people have right. They have they have exercise exercise their right. I don't get that right from you. I get it from the constitution. Time up, time up, producer. Don't overstep yourself. Don't be arrogant. People have exercise their right. Okay, I must leave it there. in an ideal world we want news without noise but remember this is a day after the election you've got winners and losers and they will combat each other but it's an interesting concept are we going to have a credible opposition to take on the government because the last thing you want in a democracy is a one party autocracy as some fear is emerging you want a healthy multi party democracy where the contest is played on a level playing field